Hey guys, it's Sean Sloan, and welcome back to Firewatch. Alright, let's go. Why did I have the baseball? Moral. What am I doing? Run away way back to the course. Here. Oh, get back to the part we were at. Someone broke in. What? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker! Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. Okay. Um. Okay, I put in a call. That was fast. fast. Yeah, well. Do you have any idea who could have done this? Girls at the I lake? did probably piss off the girls at the lake. Ugh, fuck them. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a couple of young women and question any they find. I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some, what, violent campers? Ugh. Okay, in the morning I'm gonna call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since... I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Go in. Or Don't worry about it. Oh, you can protect yourself, huh? I just don't worry about it. Perfect. Keep that attitude up, and you'll have an excellent summer. All right. Now we're back to where we left off. A2. Wake up! Hey, wake up! I'm awake. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. <sighs> Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. I don't really know why that would be the case. Should I be worried? About what? We can't get help if we need it. Oh, you're tough, Hank. You don't seem like the guy who likes to ask for help. Sure. What I need you to do, though, is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. Okay, all right. All right, so now we go back to the canyon. Okay. How do we get to the canyon again? Um, I think it was this way. Hope it was this way.
hope I'm going the right way, because if not... I don't know where the heck I'm going. Be so fun. Be out in the woods. Kill him. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? I just spend a lot of time with Julia. Oh, so you have someone there. Well... But you're taking a little break, or... We're... <sighs> Look, I'm sorry. Can you hold that thought? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Heyo. I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. Uh, hey, no, your button is still down. Idea. I'm absolutely sure. Delilah, I can hear you. Would you? I said I could... All right. Wait, well, are you, you talking about me? In that regard. Who are you talking to? Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, uh, Julia, girlfriend, ex? Sorry, I, hey, I don't mean to cry. Who was that? Who was who? I, I don't think he has any idea. What, what was that? Were you talking about me? Uh, what? You left your button pressed or something. Henry, that call was work. I was just talking to... Actually, it's not really your business. Why are you freaking out? I'm not freaking out. Good. I'm gonna go quiet for a little bit. Call me if it's important. Okay. Um. Oh. Your fault you left the thing on. I was trying to tell you not to. I was trying to. I was trying to let you know so you could stop me from being able to hear it. I think I'm going the right way. Hope I'm going the right way at least. Thingy. Gabe, I hate- I got your note about needing to talk, and sorry I didn't track you down. I'm looking for you all day. You do be out near the canyon helping those grad students, but I guess not. I don't even know how I could really help anyway. Co-workers, you know? Amigos professionalis. However you pronounce that. If you need someone to throw a case back with and go time traveling, you're on your guy. But I'm not great with the life stuff. You get it. Later on. Okay.
Anything else? Copy the map information. I'm gonna keep those open. I don't know which ones I've already been to. Unless it closes itself. I guess it doesn't really matter. Turtle. Whoa, I, uh, I found a turtle. Maybe it's a, a tortoise. It's a thing with a shell. Well, isn't that something? It's actually pretty cute. I know. Well, Henry, if you decide you want it to keep you company, nobody will mind. Now, what do I call it? Looks like a, uh, hmm. Oh, this ought to be good. Dirt Reynolds. <laughs> well, now I can't wait to see him. The mustache is impressive. You tell him I love Cannonball Run. Okay, um, I gotta go this way. Now I have a pet turtle. Let's go on a journey with our pet tur- Where'd I go? I was assuming that I would turn that way and there would be another path, but no. Nothing. I am stuck. I go the wrong way. I am supposed to go this way. I don't know, but... Um, I don't think that's supposed to be like that. north so not sure where I went wrong north from the canyon I went north from the canyon found a turtle that's it am I missing something I'm gonna go back over here. I can make sure I didn't miss anything. Access survey communication lines. For those. I'm guessing. I don't know what else communication lines would be. And maybe I just go up to the pole. Maybe I just followed. The actual lines themselves. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. Yeah, Follow it up to the top of the trail there. if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. That's exactly what I was supposed to do. I was supposed to follow the freaking. lines. Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before? Yep. These fucking kids. Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. Yeah. Um. So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seem dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out, but I'd rather it not come to that. I agree. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Okay, good. Any sign of those girls? Did they mess with anything? I'll look around. Uh, 
Um, yeah, I think I think they did. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. Oh, these idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Hmm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm. I don't know. Um... Wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. Okay. But I am gonna need a raise. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. All right. Well, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. I can find what they took. Okay, so they... I've only really taken one way. Well, I hopped down a drop, and now I can't climb back up. Mm, that is a pickle. I, mean, I can just keep hiking, but I figured I should let you know in case I get myself trapped out here. Well, hopefully that doesn't happen before you find these assholes. I was thinking you should probably head back to where you saw them last. How do I do that? Or I do that, go back the other way. Beer cans here. I can only go this way. Never mind. Anything over here? Any evidence? I 
it goes that way, okay. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. What's up that here? What's it do? Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this, this uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. <sighs> he was a lookout? <laughs> yeah, kinda, I guess. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? Mm, no. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Okay. Why? Where did they go? I don't know. I never really hit it off with old Ned. And, um, one day they were just gone. Sucks. Anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a Photodome employee. I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Okay, guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that shit heel Steve, it's your man Ron. I went up to check on the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself. More than usual for Ellos, so I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself in that hammock? Starting to think that Forest Service only picks the deranged and perverted. Except for us, of course. With the crumb de la crumb. Let's toast to DB at the spot. Ron. Or Deb. Be dead, whatever. Anyways, uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. And maybe they're leaving me an entire creature piece by piece. Yeah, I, I don't think that's the case. Sure. Um, which place the lake? Sorry about snapping at you earlier. Um, I thought about it and... Yeah, I suppose that must have sounded kind of weird when you heard me take that other call. Plus, you're just out here in your own head. <laughs> Trust me, I know how it is. So... Did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but... <laughs> I know I'm a bit of an outlier. I'm actually married. But you're here. She's sick, and I shouldn't be here, but I am. I... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. Yeah. Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Oh, uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain link fence? A chain link fence? Yeah. It looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh. That's weird. What do you think they're keeping in? What do they not want to have get out of there? Oh, geez, so many things. Should I just stop you now? 
Maybe loads of hedgehogs. Okay. Thousands even. Full percentage point of the global hedgehog population. Uh-huh. The New Zealand government is, is up in arms. Where are all the hedgehogs? Well, folks are hiding all in Wyoming. That's where they are. Who would do that and why? Ha-ha. <laughs> that is the real mystery. Really glad I kept you in the loop. Thanks for all of the high-quality information. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'll ask what's up if I talk to someone in the next few days who I think might know. Yeah. From this burned section of forest, I have no idea where to go. Their trail is pretty cold at this point. Hmm. You're out by Mule Point. No one would camp out in the fireweed. Well, I want you to stay out there as a favor to little old me. My pleasure. <sighs> okay, we know these young women are sloppy. They must have left some sort of trail. Eh? Um... And what is that trail? I'm getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Excuse me? Flapjack? You know, like a loser. A chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Hey, Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before... I bounce your face off a dumpster. It's beautiful. Hey, okay, um, how the heck do I get to the lake? <laughs> um, what was that? Let's just go towards the noise. That'll work out for me, right? What does she have? She's got Alzheimer's. Like, um, dementia. Whoa. How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Devastating, especially for her, you can understand. And for you. Anyway, everything she worked for was taken away, and that was it. Yeah, I'm sorry to be yes. such a downer. Don't, don't, don't even. I'm happy to listen. And, you know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise. Wow, I'm on top of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, no, I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Ah, well, you're a regular evil people. Oh yeah, you should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. Okay, um... I think I'm making progress. I, I said I'm gonna get lost a lot in this game. I am going to get lost a lot in this game. music about think so, that thin plume of smoke? Yeah. Looks like it's way down to the southwest. You should be able to find a way over there from the meadow by the lake. Towards Five Mile Creek, it's in the southwest quadrant of your map. Yeah. Well, you think it's those girls? I 
I'm pretty sure it's a campfire, so yeah, I'd call that a safe bet. Man, they really do not give a shit, do they? <sighs> not a one. Wow, there's an old, um, I think it's called a medicine wheel out here? Yeah, it was made by Crow American Indians hundreds of years ago. There are lots of small ones. Um, have you ever been to Medicine Wheel Monument over in the Bighorns? Well, I sure haven't, no. Well, it's worth a three-hour detour on the way home in August. Uh, neat. I'll keep it in mind. Okay, I have eyes on that smoke plume. Great. Find your way over there and give them hell. Okay. Alright, um... Figure out how to get over there and then we'll do that. Oh, this looks like a dead end. What the heck did I... Oh, I'm an idiot. I walked towards the wall instead of towards, you know, the actual way to go. Wait, what? How did I get to the lake before? It seemed so simple before. Now, now I am lost. Yeah, I don't see a way to get over there. Little thing over here. If there's a way to get through that, I like. I guess. Doesn't seem like I can get through that. So, uh, where do I go? Confused. This is the medicine wheel, by the way. That was just a tree. I'm just dumb and looking at. So, how'd you meet? Bar. I met in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. I walked over and asked her what her major was because I thought she was a student, not a prof. Smooth. That's me. I did make the first move, though. Aw, oh, you were brave. I was drunk. Okay. Nothing back here. Where in the world am I going? I need to go that way. And the source of the smoke. Okay, so... I can do that. I need to know how to do that. Can't freaking find the path. Oh, found the path. I'm back at the shale slide. You know, the one that nearly killed me yesterday. You ready to give it another shot? Do I seriously have to? To get down to Five Mile Creek? Yeah, afraid so. It's quite a ways downhill from here. Uh. I mean, I was already on it. Okay. Whew. That was weird. I like the way he puts the rope up the thing. He just... Okay, um... Now I've 
We should be making progress. Hopefully. I would love to go to a place like this in real life and just stay for a few days, a few weeks. So fun. The reason why I like this game is that, like, whenever I watched it, watched Mark and Jack play it, um, you know. Missing person, Mitch Michaels, age 31, height 6 foot 2, around distinct facial hair. Mitch Michaels last seen around Jonesy Lake on July 3rd, 1981. He was first reported missing on July 29, 1981 by Forest Service personnel. He is not known to be familiar with the area. Mitch was seen around Jonesy Lake on the morning of July 3rd, 1981. Vehicle info. 1975 Ford F-250 Blue and White. Montana license to okay. If you have seen seen slash contact them or have more info, please contact blah 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 blah. Keep that. Anyways, um, yeah, the reason why I wanted to play this game is uh, this style of it, the fact that it's out in the woods, the whole story behind it. Well, just... for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's, uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. It's just yeah, as fun playing it as it was watching it. Those it's trees are enjoying. actually one root organism. Did you know that? That's cool. Good I did not. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? I think I actually have heard also, that before. Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Okay. I'm at the stream. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Site and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? No, it seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down and don't let them see you. What a job this is. Yeah, that fire's up. I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you? It's another one of those magazines. Huh, pants are back. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, pants are back? Well, according to the experts at Teen Zone magazine, it's unclear where they've been. The pants, I mean? I don't get why the hunks have to be so dangerous. Well, you're clearly not a young woman. Girls should want nice hunks. Ugh, boring. Okay. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. Ah, found my sheets! So they did break into your tower. Looks like... Hey, I'm not... I'm not gonna take this stuff. Been on the ground. 
tent looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a like a bear or um I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? It might be yeah. a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. Yeah. Uh, looks like someone left a note. Intriguing. Maybe you should read it. Dear Psycho, I hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped in on us in, in the lake and came to shorter campsite and all our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross out. You're probably a mental fucking axe murderer and are so going to jail. Hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks, dick. Okay, yeah. Let me know what it says. Oh, they're gone, for sure. Well, what's it say? Threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, did you? No, well, hey, I didn't do this, okay? Someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. I didn't. Of course I didn't. I just threw the stereo in the lake. Yeah, I really wish you wouldn't have done that. This is, I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's, it's okay, I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, okay. me too. Day three. Let me let it save this time before I end it, so I don't have to replay any parts. Okay, sick. Alright, it's saving. And... Hey, Henry? Yeah. Hang on. Um, what do you look like? Why are you That's asking? saved. I'm going to go ahead and end it there. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Later, guys. Peace.